Bloomberg. I'm Nicole Daher, founder of Success on the Spectrum, and welcome to our location in Katy, Texas. Owned by an autism mom, this sensory-friendly center is more than just a business. It is a personal mission to help autism families. Here you will find a commitment to the highest quality of care. My name is Caitlin Hodge and I am the owner of Success on the Spectrum in Katy, Texas. My name is Jay Burton. I am the clinical director and BCBA here at Success on the Spectrum in Katy, Texas. I think at the Katy Clinic, whether it is I as the clinical director or Caitlin as the chief executive officer, you should know that you are in the hands of parents of children on the spectrum and that we care for outcomes. My daughter Colette was diagnosed with autism when she was 16 months old. When she got diagnosed, I dove headfirst into a world that I really never thought I would be a part of or have to learn about. There isn't really a guidebook on what to do once your child is diagnosed. ABA therapy changed her life, changed our family's life. Um, before she started ABA, if she wanted something from the pantry, she would just cry. She didn't even fully understand that she needs to point to something she wants. That was, you know, an emotional thing for me as a mom. And I want to be there to support parents in that time, give them hope and show them what good quality ABA therapy can do for their child. I would say what sets success on the spectrum apart from other clinics is our uh, focus on compassionate care, our focus first on the clinic, uh, clinical aspect, but also getting good outcomes that are not just gonna help our um, clients through an academic setting, but actually help them grow as an individual so that they can have a better life. It's not just about outcomes, it's about the individual. My favorite part of the day is seeing the faces of the kids and talking to the parents. I, you know, I find myself constantly relating to the parents. They tell me something about their kid and I've been there. I know what that's like. As a parent, I was so afraid that, oh, my daughter in therapy is sitting in a room all day. She's being drilled. She's being asked to do things that don't feel comfortable for her and she's unhappy and sitting here and hearing laughter, <laughs> laughter not just from the kids, but from the technicians. I mean, that's important to me. So it is a happy place. By using play-based therapy, which is our focus, we're able to pull kids away from that table environment and actually generalize to what's around them. Um, if I'm sitting in the playroom right now. We can utilize everything in here that is around me to work on color identification, work on identification of common objects, to learn how to request, label. None of that has to be taught at the table. It can all be taught in a more natural, more fun environment, making the kid have a truly more joyful life. As a parent of a child on the spectrum myself, um, and having been into other clinics, there is always going to be questions of what the day looks like. What's going on in ABA? That was something that was really important to me when designing uh, a center was, I wanted to make sure that it was a place that parents felt comfortable. There's so much transparency here. We have cameras in every room, including the hallways. We have a parent viewing room where parents are encouraged to come. And if there are things your child's doing that we want to be able to show you, we can do that. We can show you how they responded in these situations with the therapist. And that's something that I never saw in any other center. I would say the parent viewing room is a rarity in this field. And it not only allows for transparency, which I think should be first thing at the door, but it also allows the parents to actually see what services look like and so that they can help implement it in their home. I think transparency is important because you need to know what you're getting. Um, whether you are buying at Walmart or if you're getting services here at ABA, you want to know what you're actually investing in is coming out with good outcomes. And you can hear or see on a graph what they say are the outcomes, but when you actually get to see your children working with your therapist, and see their growth and their, the progress they are making step by step, that is the real transparency. That is the real showing that this is working. My daughter was diagnosed extremely young and I, I knew 
something wasn't progressing typically. That early intervention was, was vital because all the data suggests that the earlier you can intervene and the um, more hours, the better. It is extremely important, especially as children go from uh, whether elementary to middle or middle to high school, that ABA is there to help support them through those transitions. To me, that's part of the beauty of our center. We accept kids all the way up to age 18. Our goal should be to focus on getting them ready for the adult life that they're going to be venturing onto. So many clinics will stop services at eight, nine, 10 years old, but you're missing some of the most vital years of services by cutting off at that age. My hope for these children are that they lead the most fulfilling life they can, that they are as independent as they possibly can be, and that, you know, they're happy. Kids learn best when they're having fun. So if they're in an environment that supports their growth, not just from learning, but also from their personal well-being and their emotions, they're going to grow a lot faster. They're going to make a lot better achievements than just sitting at a table all day. What I find fulfilling is helping families, helping children, making a difference. This isn't just a business to make money. This, this is important to me. My heart is in this. Seeing the happiness of the families, saying, my kid did this thing that I've never seen them do. I had no idea they would be able to sit and get their hair cut. That's it's amazing. I mean, that might be a small thing to some people, but that's a huge thing. We want to help as many families as we can, and we want to make an impact on our community. I want people to say, oh, success on the spectrum. They have all these great events for parents. They care about more than just their clients, their center, their little bubble. We, we want to help as many people as we can. I think as a parent, whenever your child is born, there is just so much joy and passion um, and seeing this little life come in there. When you get that diagnosis as a parent, it's, it's heartbreaking. Whether or not you're a BCBA uh, who've been in the field for years already, um, but the wonderful thing about ABA, and I think this is what drives me as a BCBA now, is that I know it makes a difference. I know that the services that we provide are going to make a difference and improve these kids' lives. And as the clinical director here, my goal is to make sure that the services that we provide are services that I would want my son to receive. and see how we can help your family navigate the seas of autism.